Hey everybody, this is FireDrop522 with another one of my Hammer Editor tutorials. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make basic objects, basic 3D objects, out of the block tool or the brush tool. Okay, so with Source SDK open, go ahead and choose your game, open up Hammer Editor, I already have it open down here. I'm going to pull this up, we're all good. Uh, go to File New, start a new map. Okay, now, we're going to go to our block creation tool, or our brush tool. Uh, I got block creation tool from down here, so, block creation tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a block. If you guys remember from the first Hammer Editor tutorial, the block I made was hollow, and you could play inside of it. Okay, so here's our block. Pretty much that. Okay, now let's say we wanted to put a cylinder on top of it, so it's like a pillar kind of thing. We just go into our objects, and, oh, right here, there's a, this may be down here, but for me, I moved it up here because I'm running 1280 by 720, just so, just for this tutorial recording, so it's normal on YouTube, and you click HD. Anyways, uh, you go over here. And where it says objects, click on that little down arrow next to block, and you can change it to cylinder. You can specify the number of faces you want. So 16 for me. And so if we just put that up, pull it down, and we have a cylinder. Pretty boring. Uh, we could change the number of faces to 8 if we wanted to. And we could just that right in the center of this. And that's, here's eight faces. It's not as smooth as the other one, but it is technically a 3D octagon. But yeah, that's how you make a cylinder. Now, you can change it to a sphere if you want. You can specify the number of faces. Again, 16 would be smoothest. Or the most number of faces that it's allowed makes it the smoothest. You can just place that down and now we have a giant sphere. I don't know what good a sphere would be, do unless you're making like a space build map or a space map or something. Um, yeah. Now we can go back to our brush tool and we can choose spike. Now spike, it is basically um, f points on the base. It's like a pyramid that go to one tip. If, I, if that doesn't explain it enough, here let me show you. Face is four, and I just place that down, and it's like a pyramid now. It's a four-sided pyramid. Let's see. Okay, now we can also change that to. Uh, 18, which makes it smoother and more like a cone, actually. Basically, it just makes the number of vertexes on the base, which is the bottom, makes the number of vertexes at the bottom, and then evenly distribute them in distance, and then they make them connected to one point. Okay, so that's a spike. Now, a torus. A torus is kind of hard to explain. But, uh, I'll try my best to do that. Basically, it's like a donut. Or a half donut. Now, if you, you if you have Tor selected and you make your block what you want it to be, we hit enter, and this little window will pop up. This will specify the width of the walls. So, while if you look at it from the inside, that's how thick the walls are going to be on the outside. You can change the number of size it has, so, like... It has, it's a, has a smoother surface. You can change the arc amount to 90. And then over here you can also change the rotation sides to more, making it smoother. Which I wouldn't recommend doing 64 because it may cause really bad lag. And so let me, okay, with just this selected, I hit okay. 
And you can see it makes like a donut. You can go inside of it. Uh, the camera's spazzing out because it's so laggy. Okay, so basically you can go inside of it and look around and stuff. That's a torus. Uh, a wedge is basically just a triangle. See? And then an arc, or arch, whatever. I can't say that right or something. You can basically just make it, and you can change how the arc goes to 180, so it's actually like an arc. Walls width, I'm going to change it to 32. Number of sides, 16. Hit OK, and it makes an arc. Pretty sweet. Now there's one more thing. Wait, no, actually that is. That's all of them. Okay, well this is basically how you make your basic 3D objects in Hammer Editor. Um, if you have any questions, just comment or send me a private message on YouTube. And I will see what I can do about that problem, help you with it. Uh, more Hammer Editor tutorials to come. I'm going to make another one after this. It's going to be like the skies or whatever and the lighting, proper lighting. Anyways, this has been FireGuard 522 with a Hammer Editor tutorial teaching you how to make basic 3D objects with the brush tool. Have fun. Don't burn yourselves.